Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of my Sling Build Log.、Uh, I spent the last couple weeks to complete the vertical stabilizer assembly. The vertical stabilizer assembly involved a little bit more parts than the rudder, and it took me a little bit longer to complete. But the process itself is actually pretty straightforward. The techniques involved were pretty much the same as、uh, building the rudder. The only thing, in addition,、uh, and I learned along the way was to、uh, using、uh, the Rivna puller. So the first step on the vertical stabilizer was the spar assembly. It took、uh, it took me a little bit to figure out how to. Assembled and installed the rivnut correctly, because there were a few pieces、um, layering together, and the rivnut have to go into the correct layer.、Um, so once the main spar was completed, I moved on to、uh, install the ribs to the spar and also lay out the wire in the、uh, in the. Assembly before closing the skins, so these were pretty straightforward.、Um, it's just、uh, the standard、um, 3.2 or 4.0 millimeter rivets going in there with no problem. So the next step is the skin,、uh, which took a little bit more time and effort to install compared to the、uh, spar assembly and the ribs. After cleaning and deburring, the next step on the skin was to dimple,、uh, matching the dimpled holes on the spar and the ribs. So I used my DRDT tool to do that, and、um, after that. Kind of clicked the skin onto the、uh, spar assembly to make sure all the holes align.、Um, once the click hole is in place, I was able to、uh, ring all the holes to、um, a match drill, making sure、uh, to ensure the rivets will all fit perfectly. After the ringing、um, and、uh, kind of match drilling, I needed to unclick all the skin off the spar assembly to clean up. So I used a vacuum to、um, ensure there is no dust around the skin or around the、uh, spar assembly before putting it back together again. And、um, once the second round of clicko 
went in, I lifted the um, the vertical stabilizer and make them stand vertically on the table, and then measured the twist level and ensured it's all straight and uh, aligned uh, using a laser laser level on both ends. And uh, once I was confident the assembly, the whole assembly had no twist, I was able to move on and rivet everything together. So the riveting took a while, but uh, it wasn't really difficult because I already previously rimmed and metroed all the holes. So all the rivet went in almost perfectly. Um, so yeah, after the riveting, the last step was um, to enlarge four holes towards the trailing edge area at the bottom of the skin, uh, two on each side uh, to install M4 rivnets. So there are two M4 rivnets needed on both sides. So that's what I did. And that completes the uh, vertical stabilizer assembly.